Hi everyone, welcome to Fabric Developer. I'll be your host today, MJ Anya, and uh, together with me is David. And in this particular topic, we'll be talking about not super fabric at the moment, but like a, a natural extension of fabric, and like I would say, probably a sibling, if you may, uh, which is Copilot Studio. Right. So I know Copilot Studio has had so many different iterations in the past couple of years. It's probably hard to keep track, and no better person to tell more about Copilot Studio and what's the latest. But David himself, so over to you. Thanks, MJ. Uh, so yes, Copilot Studio. Um, um, so Charles, the, the the vice president for um, Copilot Studio, I think he's the vice president for Copilot Studio. Um, so he he made an announcement um, yesterday about a new thing in Copilot Studio called uh, Flow, uh, Copilot Studio Agent Flow. So Copilot Studio at the moment is uh, is sitting at a really sweet spot at the moment. I, I think it's being widely underutilized for a lot of organizations. Yes. Yeah. And the reason I say that is just because it's, you know, people are like, sure you do too as J and there's so much talk about, um, you know, agents about, you know, large language models, uh, Gen AI stuff. But what they didn't realize is Copilot Studio is so easy to use. Like whatever you want to do, whatever your idea you have, you want to create an agent, so easy just to create it in, in Copilot Studio. But I think Microsoft also realized that, well, you know, there's other um, integration tools they have to, to not just create the model, create an agent, um, but actually also to uh, embed it into workflows. Um, and so uh, from Power Platform side of things, you have the um, uh, Power Automate Cloud Flows. So that's doing a lot of the integration, the, the workflow embedding um, things already. So the thing with the Copilot agent flow is actually just a combination of the two, and mm. it, it kind of occurs very naturally uh, anyway. So um, let me quickly share my screen here and jump into the article first. And then we'll actually take, take a look at the um, uh, something I've kind of mimicked uh, in, in Power Automate. So this is the article, um, uh, or it's on LinkedIn. Um, and it's by Charles Amana, um, Corporate Vice President, Business and Industry Co-Pilot at Microsoft. Um, I'm not familiar with the, my, with, with the structure here, so I might, might have <laughs> got his title wrong, um, but it, it's an amazing guy. Um, so um, this, the first part of this is the deep reasoning. Uh, I think that's also where a lot of the, the large language model is happening mm -hmm. at the moment. It will be slower, but you can actually think a lot harder on, on, on certain issues, right? Um, um, but the, the focus uh, for today is on the agent flows. Um, with... And it's going to be generally available tomorrow or in a few days' time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I don't think I will have sound in here. I'll just mute it anyway. So I just want to quickly highlight is um, flow is in Copilot Studio. Once you go, go on to Copilot Studio, I think from tomorrow, you actually see this flow uh, icon at the moment it's not available as yet i'll quickly um take 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 you through a bit later so this is the flow icon um, that's not currently available so what this allows you to do is you know um they put in you put in a uh uh description about what you want the flow to do so when a new customer feedback arrives in somewhere um summarize it and assign it a category so the cat category um, options are, you know, app interface, customer service, et cetera. And it also dictates, well, if it's app, app interface, forward the feedback to the UX team. So there's the workflow part comes in. If it's customer service, forward to customer service and create a ticket in planner. There's another workflow uh, option available through um, Cloudflow in Power Automate, et cetera, et cetera. So as you can see, after that's been put in, um, what happens here is, step back a little bit. So what happens is um, with, I think this is really uh, integration with the um, uh, Power Automate Cloudflow Copilot, right? So that's the tool Copilot. Mm -hmm. um, so it generated this uh, uh, workflow. Um, and um, if you click further, it will actually take you into um, a, a Power Automate screen embedded within Cloud, uh, so, uh, Copilot Studio. Right, um, and this is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So, um, looks like yeah. a flowchart of some sort, right? Yeah, yeah. So there's a trigger. So with every Power Automate Cloud Flow, you need a trigger. So this is a trigger, but you can change the trigger as well. Um, the example I'll show a bit later, the one that I mimicked, 
um, has got a different trigger, which is email arrival. And then once the trigger um, occurred, um, it will uh, the next step is to actually um, pass some of the input into the AI. This is AI Hub, um, so it's not the full agent here per se, um, but it's AI Hub uh, where you have access to a lot of the uh, custom and standard uh, models from um, from Microsoft. And then, and then it goes to the standard like sorting. Uh, okay, if it matches this, then go here. If it matches that, go here, etc. So, um, what we're going to do now is just to quickly have a look at any questions so far. MJ, actually. No, no, things are a bit uh -huh. straightforward so far. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, so what what I'm doing because uh, actually, let me let's have a look at Copilot Studio. So, as, so this is Copilot Studio um, um, interface. So as you can see, the flow option is not here at the moment. Right. Um, so when I was trying to mimic it, I have to go to Power Automate. Um, and so this is the Power Automate interface. It kind of looks similar anyway. Um, but if I go to My Flows, we'll look at the one that I've just created. I'll go to Edit. Um, and you can see that it, it's mm. yeah, it's got yeah, a yeah, very yeah, similar yeah. structure, right? Um, so uh, it's got a trigger. So instead of using the dataverse trigger, I'm using a um, Outlook, uh, a mail arriving trigger. So with this trigger, um, um, there's a subject filter as well. Um, so if the su subject line contains Copilot agent test, it's only to narrow it down a little bit. Mm. Otherwise, <laughs> this this will be a very busy uh, workflow. Yeah. So, so are you saying that? Basically, the flows from Power Automate is now just well integrated to Copilot Studio. Is that the, is that what it is, or is or yeah, am exactly. I missing something? Yeah. No, no, that that's exactly what 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 it is. So I think what um, Microsoft realized is, you know, there are a lot of functions that's already available, um, and the announcement is actually nothing new, but it's a different way to link it into Copilot Studio. So so what happens here is there's a trigger, um, and then when the email arrives with Copilot agent test in this mm -hmm. uh, heading, and then uh, you will go through a classif classification thing. So uh, classify text into categories with standard model. So um, uh, it's just calling the uh, one of the large language models. I don't even get to pick which one um, I call here. So um, that's that's the kind of limitation we, we're playing with. But I can still prompt it, right? So the input to the uh, large language model. Uh, okay, here's the predefined categories. Here's the subject. Here's the body um, of the email uh, in the trigger. And then I'm also giving an instruction to hey, summarize it based on the title and the content. Um, and you know, pick from one of the predefined categories. You and I'm um, just the last part is just asking it. Don't be wordy. Don't explain. Just give me a simple answer um, here. Um, so very basic prompt. And based on that, it will be passed on to the next level, which is a uh, so don't worry about the for loop here. Um, mm -hmm. The next level is actually the switch. Uh, it just takes the output of the uh, classification model, and then um, yeah, just then based on the value, pick the appropriate action. And so that's what this thing is really trying to do. Um, and uh, if we look at one of the previous tests that we've ran, um, uh, go back. Uh, hang on. So this is another good thing about, about this, is that the interface is really well designed um, and it's really easy to see what's happening yeah. in, the, in the history. So here's the trigger, um, something came in um, at the particular time and then it gets to the next level, um, the input got passed into it um, without going into too much detail. Uh, then, um, then this got triggered, the switch got triggered. So from here, I should be able to see. The, um, the input. I think there's something wrong with the input here. So this classification model actually didn't classify in the right um, in, in in the right predefined categories. So I think that's going to cause a bit of problem here because it won't be able to actually then pick up the right ones. So um, I think yeah. So default got triggered because because it's not customer service, it's not app interface, it's documentation. So the default uh, flow got triggered. We should just send an email to myself. Um, Etc. But I think yeah, that's just just to summarize what's happening here. Again, you know, um, the uh, where where is my blog post? Here is my blog post. So um, Copilot agent flow will be available, making the whole process you've just seen 
even simpler for a developer once you've got the agent put it into a flow you know it's um it's even easier to actually generate uh what, what you actually need out of it and you don't need to worry about the level of customization but you can also edit the whole flow as well because at the end of the day it is a power automate workflow so don't be too scared and overwhelmed by the new technology uh, new, new terminology mm -hmm. here it's called agent flow but it's actually um uh um, agent it is agent large language model agent plus uh the the the, the uh, power automate cloud flow which is hopefully something that some of you are already familiar with um yeah that's that's all i wanted to cover awesome baby and again i think uh i myself need to learn more about this copilot studio because I, I just think that you know like for simple and not just simple but like um for a on a time to value point of view having copilot studio to create these agents in matters of minutes and hours is just way way you know, economical versus spending days to, you know, spin yeah. up uh, agents. Think about, think about proof of concept, right? Yeah. Like, you know, this is yeah, a few hours away or anything that you want to test or embed into the business. Um, the limitation is clearly that you, you don't have the degree of customization mm -hmm. you might need to, to really do, like, get the agent to do a good job. Um, but, you know, it's, it's available and I think a lot of the, uh, the, the current um, workflow issues can be automated. Um, using this method. Yep, absolutely. All right, cool. Thanks everyone cool. for watching and uh, we'll see you again at fabricdeveloper.com.